You've heard about 3D printers, but did you know the same technology can be shrunk down and applied to a handheld pen? Well, today I'm going to show you fun and practical ideas that we can do with a 3D pen. Check it out. So David over at 3D Simo sent me this pen to test out. Everybody say hi David. Hello my name is David. Hi David. So David sent me this pen because he's about to launch version 2 on Kickstarter and he needs our help to get it launched. So he sent me a pen to test out what cool things can be done with a 3D pen. So let's get started. Ooh. As soon as I got this pen I thought of a great way to prank my girlfriend. I told her I saw a huge spider in the bathroom and I couldn't get to it in time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a spider and I'm going to hide it under the bed. Then I'm going to set my phone under the covers and set it to ring in a couple minutes. So when she goes to check the phone, she'll see a huge spider. Now all we have to do is wait. Do you hear my phone going off? <laughs> ah, <no. laughs> oh my God. So the next thing I want to show you guys is how to turn any 3D drawn or printed object into solid metal. And it's really easy. You just encase the object in plaster and then melt the plastic out. Then you have a hollow mold which can be filled with any type of metal. So I want to make my bunny a suit of armor. I've already made her a sword and shield so now it's time to make her a metal helmet. The hardest part was getting my rabbit to stay still long enough to take a measurement of her head, but afterwards it was easy to sketch up a rough draft of the helmet. I slowly added more to the helmet to give it a cool shape and also make it comfortable enough for her to tolerate wearing for more than a couple seconds. Now the surface of the drawing is pretty rough, so I melted some candle wax on top of it to fill in cracks and smooth out the surface. Then I encased the drawing in plaster and put it into my furnace. I'm going to burn out all the plastic and wax and that'll leave me a hollow mold to fill metal with. I'm using pewter because I'm impatient and it has a really low melting point. It also solidifies really quickly, only a couple minutes. Well the metal filled the mold perfectly, I couldn't have asked for a better outcome. And it's kind of neat to flip over and you can still see the individually drawn 3D filaments. After a little bit of polishing, it looks really nice. So we went from something like this, to something like this. She likes it. Well, kind of. She kind of reminds me of the Pokemon Cubone now. Neat. Alright, the final thing I want to show you guys is a game I invented called Dry Ice Air Hockey. I turned my tabletop into a playing field by putting tape around the edges. Next I drew up two goal nets with my 3D pen. Of course, the secret ingredient is dry ice, and you need a really smooth tabletop to do this. The dry ice sublimates, turning directly from a solid into a gas, which gives a cushioning layer of carbon dioxide under it. Perfect for a quick game of DIY air hockey. Go! And if you think playing with one chunk is fun, try playing with ten. So the new 3D Simo comes with four different attachments. The first is a 3D pen that works with any filament on the market today. You can make a cool flexible wallet with the new flexi filament. Or you can make a cool color changing rose for your girlfriend cause she's still mad that you scared her with a spider. It also comes with a soldering attachment so you can fix and create electronics, like this electronic dice rolling simulator. It also comes with a wood burning attachment which allows you to create or customize materials made out of leather or wood, like these glasses. <laughs> Finally, it comes with a foam cutting attachment which is a piece of resistance wire that gets hot enough to slice through foam and create shapes with. It would be perfect for making aluminum casts with. There's an optional rechargeable battery attachment so you're not tied to the wall, and you can connect your phone to it to change settings and temperatures easily. So for those of you who want to learn more and check out the Kickstarter page, I've included a link to it down below in the description, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.